A drug-resistant fungus is spreading worldwide and has now made a home in Virginia. And its target? People with weak immune systems. News 3's Daniel Seda spoke with health officials to find out how this fungus has made its way to Virginia. The Center for Disease Control reports that back in 2013 is when they started seeing cases of this deadly fungal threat. But over the last 10 years, those cases have climbed, including here in Virginia. Officials with the Virginia Department of Health have called Candidus Aris a concern for a couple of reasons. Because it's emerged quickly around the world and it has shown signs of resistance to some of the types of medications that we usually use to treat fungal infections. Dr. Pidati with the Virginia Department of Health says in 2009 this fungus was reported in Japan and has since made its way to the United States. Data from the CDC shows that since 2013, there's been 5,654 clinical cases in the U.S. In Virginia, there's currently 40. It spreads through close human contact and can affect people differently. So, for example, it gets into the bloodstream, sometimes into the urinary tract or the GI system. This can cause, you know, actual illness. On the other hand, people can live without knowing that this is living on their skin. Uh, probably indefinitely. Unfortunately, it harms people who are immunocompromised in care facilities. While the fungus has been resistant to some medicines, Dr. Bidati says it's been treated successfully in the past. In terms of fungus symptoms, she says it can vary. The symptoms that you may have or a person may have with this fungus depends on what part of the body it's impacting. So sometimes that's an infection in the blood, sometimes that's an infection in a wound, or even things like ear infections. So this is one of those that can move to different type parts of the body and cause different types of infection. The Virginia Department of Health is encouraging people who have potentially been exposed or have it to report it right away so that public health can help cure the patient with a working medicine and also evaluate those closest to them physically and emotionally. In Norfolk, Danielle Seda, News 3.